the actual video will start in just a second, but first I, I just I have a little favor that I would like to ask from you guys. So yesterday I did a pack battle against Jordan Japan and he's just a fantastic YouTuber. I've known him for what seems like forever. Like he was we were friends like ever since like MLPB. We did season one together, season two together. It's just, it's been fantastic. I've done multiple pack battles with him and he does a lot of Japanese coverage as well as the English Sun and Moon coverage. He's already opened up a whole case of Sun and Moon. Anyways, I, I just I felt like in the video I of course mentioned his name, but I I feel like I didn't do a good enough job of talking about his channel, so if you could just take a second, I'll, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Go check out his channel and just let him know that I sent you over and be like, yo, Laughing Peak, you sent me over an awesome video or something like that, um, because he's awesome and I'm really happy to be able to be working with him. Um, but yeah, anyways, now to the video. What's up, YouTube? Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have something really, really awesome to open up. We got three of these blister packs with three different promo cards of all the three different um, end evolutions of the three Sun and Moon starters. These things are really cool. Inside, you get two boost or four booster packs, two of which are uh, the new Sun and Moon expansion packs, and then uh, one is Collection Sun and one is Collection Moon, uh, which I will show you guys in a second. But another really cool thing about these things is they've got like they're just they're so much easier to open actually I'm gonna jinx it I'm not gonna say anything I thought that they were easy to open but um, let me wait and not speak until I actually get them opened I believe the way you do it is like this and then you can pop it open like that oh yeah dude that's so easy all right yeah so you know how in English we all you always like struggle to like pull the, the cardboard um, off of the you know the plastic part and it's just like a struggle and it's just like years and years and months and it's like a war against the cardboard in your hands and it's just a tragedy yeah well in Japan they don't have to deal with that because it's freaking perforated so guys English Pokemon creators near and far learn from how learn from these Japanese peeps because they smart they know how to do this and then look at this they also have like a little thumb hole where you can like stick your thumb under and pop the promo out like man why can't English cards be as simple as that? Like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's weird. But you know what else I noticed? This is like completely off topic here as I'm struggling to get these opened. Um, but something else that I totally noticed is that, believe it or not, I feel like everything Pokemon releases, or at least recently, has been in threes. Like, if you look at the promos and the starters and everything, like, for some reason, they always release three versions of it. So, maybe Poke like Pokemon's lucky number is just the number three. I don't know, guys, because there's something about it. But we have three different versions of these blister packs, and I got all three of them. I actually think there's another two sets of these um, with, like, some random hollow cards. But anyways, I got the three... Um, end evolution ones, and I think they're awesome. And as I, I literally just talked about how great Pokemon Japanese packaging is, and then I like totally destroy it. So story of my life, guys. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a mess. But anyways, we shall pop the final one out, and we can get into this. As you can see, there's a lot of packs to open. Uh, first, let me carefully slip out the promo cards and give you guys a nice look at these things. But they did a fantastic job, as usual, with these guys. Here we have a Primarina holo card, very cool, and it's like a mermaid underwater and it's just swimming around and it's turned into a fish and it's great. And then we also have um, Incineroar and Decidueye, look at, they, look at these guys, they, they look very nice. We've got like a forest in the background, it's beautiful, it's awesome. We'll stick these guys in the back. Um, I want to save our special uh, Sun and Moon Plus or the Sun and Moon Strengthening Expansion Packs or whatever you want to call them. For the end, uh, we do have, again, six packs of these, uh, two from each blister. And we do also have three packs of Collection Sun and three packs of Collection Moon. And from what I've seen on YouTube, not necessarily from these things in like specifically, but just in general with Japanese blisters, the pull rates always seem to be extremely, extremely high. But anyways, here's a, again, I look at all the different packs. We got quite a few packs to open up. What is it? Uh, 12 packs, I think. Um, so I'll just stick them right there. We can start with Collection Moon, and then we can work our way to Collection Sun, and then we can end off with the Sun and Moon and ex ex Strengthening Expansion Packs. That name is so weird. I hope that in English it gets like a catchier name because like a lot of the times at least for right now uh this is like a direct translation of the japanese name so it doesn't sound as catchy and flashy and epic um but usually when it comes to english they like they switch it up a bit which is kind of cool we are ending this pack with the dratini um one or dragonair sorry want to remind you guys that um 
with these packs, we are not guaranteed rares. Um, that's one thing that I don't like about Japanese cards. Um, so yeah, you are not guaranteed rares, but you get a hollow or better one out of every two packs. That's the pull ratio, at least for the Sun and Moon exp expansions, not the, so much the mini set. But anyways, let's just focus on the cards. We got an Eevee, an Alola, and a Radita because, oh my gosh! What? Holy cow, I was not expecting that. We pulled a full art Tauros GX. That is crazy. That is absolutely, guys, for those of you who don't know, these full art cards are actually secret rares in Sun and Moon, and we just opened up an entire box yesterday. Uh, here, I have it right here. We, we opened up an entire box of the Sun and Moon strengthen, uh, strengthening packs, okay? 20 packs. We did not pull a single full art card. And here we have three packs of Collection Moon and we pulled a full art out of it. That is, that's crazy. That is actually crazy. I, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is freaking gorgeous. Man, oh man, oh man. That is, that is some crazy stuff right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I do not have that card. Um, I do not, I definitely do not have that card. So I, am excited about that that is quite the pull all right well and the crazy thing is like there's a very good chance that we're still going to pull something else awesome out of these packs because that's that's just how it is like with these japanese packs one thing that i've noticed is that the pull rates are well, see what is this what is two packs oh we have literally opened three packs two of the three packs have been gx's or better what is with this i i'm telling you guys the blister packs for in Japanese, for some reason, are have the craziest pull ratios like in all creation. Like, I don't know what it is, but look at oh my gosh, that's freaking gorgeous! All right, I'll stick that guy in the background. Here we have three packs of collection sun now. Um, and this set is even more crazy. We've got even more expensive cards, including the ultra ball full art secret rare golden epicness card, and so many other things. There's just there's so much stuff you can pull in this set. I'm very excited, anyways. Let's go through these cards quickly because the main thing. The main reason we are here, look at that Butterfree card. The main reason we're here is for the um, Sun and Moon Strengthening Expansion Packs. Um, and by the way guys, I did open up a booster box of the, the Sun and Moon Plus se series um, yesterday and I do have four more boxes to open up which will be opened up tomorrow and over the next couple of days. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, are you kidding me right now? Holy mother of my blood, I didn't say anything. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> and what is the deal with the Eeveelutions? Man, we pulled two out of two. Two for two on Eeveelutions, that's awesome. So out of all the G regular GX's car GX cards that we've pulled, we pulled two Eeveelutions. That's crazy. That's really awesome, actually. Um, the Eeveelution cards are some of my favorite cards from the set. Man, I hope we pull a Sylveon GX out of the, the uh, Sun and Moon ex Strengthening expansion pack. I, I can't get used to saying that name. It's such a strange name. Anyways, we got this and oh my gosh th th What what is happening? Literally the polls have not stopped. Oh my gosh. We got a King's Gone Hollow card freaking gorgeous beautiful card I love the background of the card too like the hollow pattern like look at oh man Look at how it like reflects. All right. Sorry. I'm spending way too much time on hollow card All right, we got six packs of this look at look at that look at that mm, mm, that's just freaking gorgeous all right we'll cut these guys open let's see what we can get out of these um i would love to pull a full art card but i mean we we did just pull a full art card like 20 seconds ago or at least it seemed like 20 seconds ago so there's definitely a high chance that we won't but i hope that we at least pull like a gx or something cool because the first box that we opened was not the nicest i will admit that Oh my gosh, look at that dancing birdie of epicness. Beautiful stuff. Ah, la, 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 la. That's the dancing music that he dances to. Yeah, totally, totally. I, I call Pokemon. Yeah, I call them, ask them. They'll 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 agree with me. They'll say, oh yeah, totally dances to that music. Cause I'm always right. Anyways, we got a grass energy. Oh my goodness, we got another sand castle. And we got what is that called? Torocats? Torocats, I believe. I'm terrible with these names. See, that's the thing, like, as much as I love all of the new Pokemon, there's so many different names that you gotta, like, learn, and then not only do you have to learn what the Pokemon are, you also have to learn how to say them, and that's, like, half the battle right there, because, like, Chargebug, I believe, uh, gr 
uh, you know what? I'm just not gonna say him. We got an Alolan Rad Rad Rad. Rad oh wow, that was the last card. I keep doing that. I keep ah, uh, I keep thinking these are English packs, and then I'm like, oh, we got like 50 million more cards to go through. Oh, just kidding. There's only five cards per pack, and it's like a huge troll factor. And on top of that, like the first card is an energy card, and so like I you know, just buzz right through that and I, like, don't spend too much time on it because, like, you've seen 50 million grass energies already. You don't need to see three more of them, you know? Um, oh my, that looks cool. I like the little galaxy background. It's like a freaking, I don't know. It's awesome, though. I'm looking forward to opening up the rest of the boxes, though. And by the way, guys, um, your support on yesterday's video was awesome. I can't thank you guys enough, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I... I, I, I said this before, but I, I don't typically buy this much Japanese product uh, just because it's expensive and it's hard to get. Um, and so to be able to do this and just experience all of this with you guys, it's, it's definitely quite something. And I love, oh my gosh, I just love this reverse foil pattern. So cool. All right, final pack. Man, the pull rate's out of this set. Terrible. We don't get any hollows in this set. Um, everything's either a reverse foil or a GX or like a full art um, or a hyper rare or super rare. And so there's no like regular hollow cards. And so that makes it really hard to pull something nice. Um, because before, you know, in most sets, like we get a hollow in one in every two packs. But for this, that's not really the case. There are no hollows. And so you just get like a GX and those run like what? One in every five packs or so. So it's definitely, oh my gosh, this is a new card for me too. That's awesome. A Vikavolt GX. That is gorgeous. Wow, we did fantastic with these packs. Look at that. Take a look at this, guys. Look at this. And on top of that, we got promo cards. All right, let's do a quick little recap of these gorgeous, gorgeous pulls. So first of all, we got all three of the starter holo cards, which are very nice looking. I'm very pleased with them. We also got a Kangaskhan holo, a Vikable GX card from the new um, expansion set. We also have the Umbreon GX, an Espeon GX, and the freaking Tauros full art card gorgeous stuff oh my gosh that is just awesome so in total we got four gx's or better that's just freaking awesome that is fantastic out of 12 packs i will take that any day that's one in three packs had a gx or better that is just complete crazy pulls like i honestly don't think i could get any better like i'm so pleased with this thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this like look at this guys this is this is crazy this is crazy and you know what yesterday we did not have the greatest of pulls out of that booster box and i was kind of down and i was like man i i kind of you know was this a bad decision to buy all of these i feel like the pull rates in this set aren't gonna be the greatest and i was i was actually concerned i was like man did i mess up i did i waste way too much money and then here we go we get pulls like this and it's just it's the most fun thing ever and i'm just i'm so blessed and fortunate to be able to experience stuff like this with you guys so thank you so much for for letting making these polls and just being here to watch them with me it's definitely a once in a lifetime experience so thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys